All right, guys, uh, we're going to be taking a look at week two. We just finished up week one. Um, hope you guys had a good week on that. Um, again, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to go through down the line with our lift. Today's our hang snatch day. Again, in the description, you guys will see the percentages written out for you. Um, for our wad today, it's going to be five rounds, 300 meter run. Um, on that run, we're looking for basically like a minute 20, minute 30. Uh, so it depends on you guys' marker. And then six devil's press, 12 handstand push-ups. So I'm going to just go down the line here. And then again, at the end, I'll kind of go over. Um, actually, I'll start with the warm-up. We're going to do our warm-up first. So with your warm-up, all you're going to need today is you're going to need a band and a PVC pipe and a bar. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a banded shoulder series again i'm gonna set this up so you guys can see how i have this you guys see the band there on the rig we're gonna tie it up to the top and then we're gonna basically hold about 10 to 20 seconds in each position on each arm so it's gonna look like this okay so i have my band i'm gonna take my right hand in the band wrap around and grab okay so position one i'm gonna put my feet wide my thumb is up and i'm going to put my head through the window of my arms and we're just gonna hold this for 20 seconds. I'm trying to get my chest all the way through and hold. That's position one. Position two, we're gonna turn into that arm. So once you're in this arm, my left leg is gonna go forward and my right knee goes down. This arm is straight and I'm just gonna try and put my hand on the floor while I put my head through the window of my arms. This is position two. All right, so position two, my arm's straight, holding 10, 20 seconds, okay? Position three, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit at the bottom of your squat. And once you're at the bottom of your squat, we're gonna do 10 circles. I'm pulling with the scaps, my arm's gonna stay straight. As I pull down, 10 one way, 10 the other way. And then position four, what we're gonna do is take your thumb down and I'm trying to get my chest up. Okay, so this is your position. We're just opening up the shoulders and chest, getting everything warm, and then you'll switch sides. Okay, so once we get into that, we'll move on to your barbell or PVC pipe um, for this portion. So round number one, if you're a beginner, definitely use a PVC pipe because this is gonna be technique and form. So three inchworms to a squat, my hips go down, Again, this is my favorite move to open up just because we're opening up your low back, your hip flexors, your hamstrings. And then when we're sitting at the bottom of your squat, we're opening up, push your knees out. Okay, so especially getting into these movements, this to me is just like the ultimate move to warm up with. Inchworm to a squat, open up the hips. Okay, so this is gonna be three reps. And then with your PVC pipe, we're going to be doing snatch today. So we're going to be in that snatch grip. We're hook gripping. So fingers over the thumbs and the bar is going to go in the hip. So we're doing three reps of each. And I'll turn to the side so you can see this. We're going to do three hip extensions. You're pulling the bar in. We're working a dip and a shrug, keeping the PVC pipe close. So you'll do three reps. Again, keeping the bar close. My arms are straight. That's what we're looking for. And then the next movement is just kind of an add on to it. Hip shrug and then it's called the muscle snatch so we're taking the pvc pipe all the way up overhead in one fast motion dip drive pull so i'm gonna just slow this down the pull should be elbows high and outside i kind of move my head out of the way and my elbows are getting underneath the pvc pipe and then i push okay so a lot of times you'll see people do this drill and their hands will just go out and around we're looking for up through push okay so that's our position that we're going for that's our muscle snatch okay so after your third rep you bring the bar behind the neck and we're still going to work that dip jump action but now the pvc pipe or barbell is behind your your neck and we're going to punch using the elbows we're looking for that punch motion because we're trying to get our elbows underneath the bar to punch and stabilize overhead okay so then that's three reps push press then we're gonna drop underneath. So we're gonna land our feet in our power position and at the same time, catch the PVC pipe. Okay, so 
We're looking to punch our bodies down. One of the most common mistakes in our snatch is a lot of people will continue to go up when you shouldn't be going up anymore. If you guys are snatching, you guys get stuck like this right here and we're going through it's because we should be going down. So we're trying to teach that in our warmups. Am I going down and stabilizing the bar? Okay, so again, PVC pipe for you new guys doing this. And then now we've put all the pieces together for our hang position to now catch this position. So now you do three power snatches. Okay, and then that's gonna be one round. Um, oh, we have three overhead squats, sorry, I missed that part. The last part for you advanced guys, you guys are gonna be going to a squat, so we're doing overhead squats on this, three reps. So first round with your PVC pipe, then you go back to inchworms to a squat, and then you would do the next round with your barbell, okay? So that's gonna be our warm up portion for that, okay? So let's just talk about our strength. Our strength is a hang snatch, okay? so. Uh, usually how we do it is if you're new or newer to the movement, we're just going to stay in the power position. So this is what our lift is going to look like. Bar is going to be on the floor. I'm in my snatch grip. I'm going to deadlift. And from here, one motion anywhere above the knee. I'm working on hip contact. Again, our drills and our warm up are all based on hitting these movements. For those of you that have been doing this for a while, this is a full snatch, okay? So more advanced. We're looking to hit that squat position. That's what we're going for, okay? So again, this is all percentages based off of the lift, the hang snatch. Uh, descriptions will be there, but I believe we're going up to 80, 85%. So 80% is pretty heavy. So. Make sure our technique and, and form is good. If it's a bad snatch day, or maybe the position or technique isn't right, go lighter. Right now is not the time to go for heavy maxes. Make it look good. Okay, so let's move on to our workout. Our workout, five rounds, 300 meter run, six devil's press, and then 12 handstand push-ups. So let's go over the devil press. You run your 300, you come in, you have two dumbbells. Now, this movement, again, we want the power to be generated from the hips. So here's the whole movement. That's one. And then I go back down to the floor. Okay, so biggest thing on all these movements is we wanna be safe. So the weight that you pick has to be something that you can, can control, especially with your low back and hamstrings. Okay, so I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see this. What I wanna do is when I come up, I'm actually gonna to go to my knees. And this makes it a little bit safer because then I can jump up to this position. Now, once I'm here, what I wanna do is like a kettlebell swing, slide it back and send my hips forward. When I come down, I come down safe. And then I'll just walk back down. Knees, hips, slide, up. Okay, so again, the weights, I believe 35 pounds for the men, 25 for the ladies. If you're newer to this movement, that's more of a snatch style. The other way for level two and level one, you would pick a lighter weight, but we're gonna focus on getting all the way to the ground, coming up, get the dumbbell to your shoulders, and then go overhead. Okay, so again, safety is always first in what we're trying to do. So if this movement's hard, going up in one motion, bring it to the shoulders and go overhead. So from there, you have 12 handstand push-ups. Again, if you're level three, we're kicking up onto the wall, we're going handstand push-ups. Level two, we're doing pike box handstand push-ups. Again, my feet go at the edge of the box, and then my hands, I have an ab mat right here. My nose goes towards the box, head touches the mat, and here. So if you're opening up, it's too far, try to walk to the box and go down. Level one, we're gonna stick with our modified version of taking a barbell, sitting on a box, fives on each side. So ladies, 35 pounds and five pounds. And then the guys, you take a 45 pound bar, fives on each side. So 300 meter run, six devil's press, 
12 handstand push-ups. Rest 90 seconds after that round, okay? So for five rounds, every round, 90 seconds of rest, we're trying to get the intensity. That's why we're resting in that, in that time frame. You can run a little bit harder, go right from the run, right to devil's press, right to handstand push-ups. So we're working on transitions and it was just that interval style training that we talked about on our Mondays that we're going to get out of that. So really fun workout. Um, if you've never done this movement before, try and keep it light. That's what we're trying to go for. Um, but let's keep it light and let's have a good workout on Monday. Thanks, guys.